guys and welcome to Illustrology and this is my third update video on the coronavirus. So Saturn recently entered Aquarius on the 22nd of March. When Saturn was in Capricorn, us as a collective were more focused on our own financial growth and our own personal achievements. Capricorn is a sign that is very focused on the self and getting the self to become successful, getting the self to become wealthy. And while Saturn was in Capricorn, this was our main focus. Saturn has now entered Aquarius, which is the sign that represents brotherhood. It's the sign that represents the community, and it also represents the collective consciousness. So what happened when Saturn entered Aquarius on the 22nd of March, we could start to really, really see the governments in our world really putting in structures in place to protect the health and the well-being of the people. So for a very big portion when this coronavirus outbreak started, the governments were so concerned about the economic growth. Oh no, we're going to lose money. Oh no, the economic growth. Oh no, how horrible. And for a very, very big portion, the governments were still putting people's lives at risk at the sake of economic growth. So businesses were still being open, people were still being forced to work. So Saturn is the planet that represents our structures. It's the planet that represents our government systems, our political systems, and it represents authority. So when Saturn enters Aquarius, us as a collective consciousness, as well as our governments, will start to actually focus on the well-being of the people. So Capricorn is more of a selfish sign. Capricorn is more of a slightly narcissistic sign in terms of where Capricorn wants you to focus on your success, your own growth. Whereas Aquarius is completely different to that. Aquarius is more focused on everybody else and the well-being of everybody as opposed to their own wants and needs and their own selfish tendencies. So now that Saturn is in Aquarius, we can really start seeing the government's implementing structures for the people. Us as a collective consciousness, as well as our governments, will now really, really start putting the needs of the people first. They'll start putting the safety and the health of the people first. So the focus is now removed from economic growth. The focus is not on economic growth anymore. For a very, very long time, they were trying to keep the economic growth. They were trying to hold on to it, but it wasn't working. Now the systems are breaking down and they're restructuring systems, taking people's well-being into consideration as opposed to taking economic growth into consideration. And this is phenomenal. So you will start to see the people around you and you'll also start to see the governments now really, really starting to put in measures to really start considering other people. People are going to start becoming less selfish now. People are going to stop thinking about how this is now affecting them financially and how it's affecting their lives and they're going to start seeing how it's affecting everyone around them, how everyone around them is suffering, not just themselves. I've heard so many people say, this is going to have such an impact on my business. But the thing is, at this point in time, your business is not something you should be worried about. The thing you should be worried about is surviving staying healthy and alive and helping the rest of the people in this world remain healthy and alive as well. Wanting your business to flourish and thrive at this time is a very, very narcissistic tendency to have. However, that's just my opinion. So from the 22nd of March, when Saturn entered Aquarius, the following changes have been made in our world. And these were actually really, really good changes because these changes take the well-being of people into consideration for a change. So it took Italy a very, very long time to put in the proper measures and to start closing their businesses because they were so concerned about the economic growth. However, on the 22nd of March, after Saturn entered Aquarius, they shut down all non-essential businesses. So that basically means that all businesses are now closed and only the essential businesses that are needed to ensure that people survive are open. Germany also put in measures that banned meetings of more than two people. The country of Greece is imposing curfews, basically meaning that people aren't allowed to be out in the streets after a certain time. On the 23rd of March, the following happened. The UK and South Africa installed a national lockdown. I'm from South Africa and yesterday our president ordered a national lockdown in our country, which basically means that we are not allowed to leave our houses. 
The only businesses that will remain open during this lockdown are the essentials that are needed for us to survive. So those are like your grocery stores, your hospitals, your pharmacies, etc. The UK also ordered a lockdown. The reason I feel that this lockdown in South Africa is very, very essential and very, very needed is because 20% of the South African population is infected with HIV AIDS. So 20% of our population has compromised immune systems. Our citizens are extremely at risk to this virus because so many of our citizens can die to it due to their compromised immune systems, due to the HIV AIDS problem we have in our country. The country of India also ordered a lockdown for majority of the country. So all of these lockdowns happened on the 23rd of March, a day after Saturn entered Aquarius. Putting a country into a national lockdown is completely devastating to its financial growth and its economy. Having political leaders make steps like this is a manifestation of Saturn in Aquarius. It shows you that they are now starting to think less about the financial growth and more about the well-being of the people. So before I go, I've got one more thing for you guys today. So this is the transit chart for today, which is the 24th of March. As you can see, Saturn is in Aquarius. Now I have a very interesting theory. Now, I noticed something incredibly interesting about this Saturn in Aquarius transit. Saturn is only going to be in Aquarius for a very short portion of time, up until the 1st of July, and I'll show you guys now. Here you guys can see that Saturn has retrograded back into the 29th degree in Capricorn on the 1st of July. My astrological take on this is that our governments are now really putting in these structures and these steps to protect the people, to consider the well-being of the people. And I think what is going to happen is it's going to be like this for a while. So as soon as our government starts seeing, okay, things are maybe becoming a bit better, they're going to remove the current structures that they have enforced onto us. And we are going to go back to the past again. So Saturn's going to enter the 29th degree of Capricorn on the 1st of July. And when Saturn is in this 29th degree, there is going to be quite a few things that happen again. The 29th degree is an anorectic degree and it's a critical degree. So when a planet is in the 29th degree, a lot of crazy things happen. <laughs> I do feel that when Saturn enters the 29th degree, our government and our political systems and the people are going to go back to the old way of living and it's actually going to re-escalate the situation yet again. But the thing is, because Saturn has now left Aquarius and gone back into Capricorn, it means that the collective consciousness as well as the leaders are going to be focused on their own growth again. And this could end up causing issues. Okay, so as you can see, Saturn has basically retrograded all the way back into the 25th degree and it's within three degrees of a Saturn-Pluto conjunction yet again. So what this basically means is that for a very, very short portion, people are going to change. People are going to start considering other people, they're going to become aware, but people are going to fall back into their old way of living again. And this falling back into the old way of living, just as they thought things are getting better, is going to re-escalate things and make things worse again, because we're going to be approaching another Saturn-Pluto conjunction near the end of this year. Saturn's also going to be in retrograde for a very big portion of this year, which means that our government and our political system is going to be in complete disarray. They're going to be in complete confusion. They're going to have no idea what to do. Saturn retrograde is a very, very challenging time. Now, the Saturn retrograde ends on the 29th of September 2020, and then it is going to take a while for... Saturn to enter Aquarius again. So Saturn's actually going to have to move through Capricorn yet again, and Saturn's going to have to reach the anoretic degree of Capricorn yet again for the third time this year. So on the 7th of December, Saturn will re-enter the anoretic degree of Capricorn, and then yet again, there is going to be crazy, crazy things going down. Having a planet like Saturn go through the anoretic degree of Capricorn three times in one year is crazy. That shows you that there is massive, massive things going on in terms of the structures of this world. And our government and our leaders are constantly going to have to rethink things. They're going to change things. 
they're going to change things and they're going to rethink it. They're going to change it and they're going to rethink it and they're going to change it and going to rethink it. They're not going to be able to stick to what they have decided. So Saturn enters Aquarius on the 17th of December again after being in Capricorn for quite a few months. And then on the 17th of December, that is when Saturn's going to remain in Aquarius. And then from then I can say that there's going to be a true, true change and a true lasting change in us as a collective consciousness, as well as our political leaders and in the government. So the change is happening now with Saturn entering Aquarius on the 22nd of March is a very, very temporary change. And it's just a change to prepare us. This is going to be a chaotic year for everybody, especially considering the movements of the planets. The way that Saturn is moving through the zodiac now, it's quite crazy. So you can expect a permanent shift in the viewpoints of people only really from the 17th of December. But like I said, we will experience a temporary shift from now on. And this temporary shift is very good. But like I said, people are going to go back to their old ways again and things are going to have to be relooked at yet again later on in the year. Okay guys, so this is my third update on the coronavirus video. Please do not believe anything I said unless it resonates with you and you feel it in your heart as these are only my opinions and my observations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more astrology content, then subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything you'd like to add regarding to what I've just said, then please let me know in the comments. See you guys next time.